Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is the 28th 75k tutorial. Yes, this one was requested by R530er, and this is a glitch bob sound. It sounds like this. What I got is this. So, the cool thing about the original sound is not so much the actual sound itself, but how it's used. There's a lot of there's a lot of interplay between the change between notes. There's a couple of ways to kind of approximate how that works. I'm not 100 percent actually sure about how they're literally doing it, but yeah, kind of close. So the actual sound is pretty simple. Um, I'm using a harmony to do this, and you can actually do this with more, more or less anything. The the way that I decided to do it in harmony is a bit harmony unique, but there's uh, ways that you could do this with just normal stuff. So essentially what's happening here, I had the local EQ open, and this is this is uh, causing this profile to exist in the harmonics. So you can see certain harmonics are being accentuated, certain other ones are being brought away. That kind of thing. And the important part is that I'm, I'm pushing up uh, the low-mid harmonics here. That's giving it, especially when, when it's under distortion, that's giving it that kind of guitar-y sounding feel. You might literally be able to do this with just guitar processing anyway, but eh. So really, if you'd want to do this, you'd have to create filter states like this and have it note track, because what I am doing is having it in this way that it, the profile follows the notes, because it's, it's a harmonic series thing, not a filter precision thing. But if you wanted to approximate that, you need to have a filter following that kind of deal. Now, and then I'm also using unison, uh, three voices, very low count, but spread phase to kind of give it that vague motion in there. You can also use it to, you know, pan it if you feel like it. But um, as far as I have reverb engaged on the post, but it's super short, very quiet. It's mostly there to give it a little bit of air. Um, now, if you want to behave what's going on in the original in between the, in the between the notes you can kind of hear there's a little bit of shakiness that goes on between that and that's what you what happens when you play under distortion other notes kind of with it so you can in writing it if you're going to write midi then you can sort of make the, the ends of notes kind of linger a little bit another thing you could do is you see how this envelope set up here with a little bit of the release So it makes the note kind of linger a second and then it interacts with the beginning of the next note, which causes that shakiness to sort of happen. So you can either do it manually with, with writing notes that happen and, or you could do it with release time like this. In the, in the track, you might notice that notes begin and stop perfectly sometimes and then other times they don't. So it's probably written in such a way that certain notes are longer than, longer than others. And, and even will others begin. And that kind of thing. So that's what I got for this. I'll put up this harbor patch for download in the description of this video. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. If you'd like to make a request yourself, do so by going to the Reddit thread, also linked in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.